Morning, Adam. Hello, darling. Good morning. Coming up right now, we're talking the importance of research here in Oman. Oman FM, your nation station. We are your nation station. On this uh, Tuesday morning, we welcome to uh, the programme this morning, uh, Dr. Obaid. Good morning, Dr. Obaid. Good morning, Adam. It's very good to hear your voice again. It's fabulous to hear your voice again, my friend. But you're not actually in Muscat. Sorry, I was under the impression that you were at the research council this morning. But you're you're a, a little distance away. Tell us where you are. Actually, I, I came to my home village. I took this week off because my children were getting so bored in Muscat. You know, staying <laughs> at home. Yeah, I, so I decided to bring them up in the mountains where I grew up in the village. It's about 80 kilometers north of uh, Al-Fatuna. Wow. And this morning, I think it was about 12, 13 degrees when we, when we woke up at around 7. Ooh, what's the name of the uh, area you, you're from there? About? It's actually, uh, this is the village I grew up in. It's called Al-Qala'a. Al-Qala'a, and okay. And it's a very lovely, pleasant place. We had some rain and the wadis were actually full of water it's a beautiful place absolutely fantastic well great and thank you for joining us this morning uh, we're talking Hello. about the uh, upcoming uh, research uh, award which is uh, upcoming as we, as we say can you give us uh, a brief about the national research award but first of all a brief about yourself and how are you involved with this dr obeyed thank you very much adam again good morning to all the listeners it's a pleasure to be with you this morning to talk about the National Research Award. I am Obeid al Saidi. I have actually a PhD in statistics. I taught statistics in Sultan Qaboos University for a while, and then I joined the Research Council in 2013. And I was the director of the research programs. Recently, I was appointed as an advisor. And I've been involved with the award since its establishment in 2014. Actually, the establishment of this award is considered as a translation and partial realization of the National Research Strategy. The National Research Award was first launched launched in 2014, and the winners of that cycle were awarded at the first annual research forum, which was organized in parallel with the 25th General Meeting of the World Academy of Sciences, oh. what's known as TWAS. <laughs> that was in October 2014 in Muscat. Okay. The, if you want me to elaborate a little bit, if I may, on the award, the award actually has two categories. Okay. It's the best published research led by a PhD holder or equivalent. What we mean by equivalent is like senior specialists or higher in the medical field. And the second category is best published research led by a young researcher, basically a non-PhD holder. Okay. We accept applications in six research areas, namely education and human resources, information and communication technologies, health and social services, culture, social and basic sciences, energy and industry, and environmental and biological resources. For the current cycle, which is the seventh, the submission period is actually from Sunday, last week, March 15th, to exactly 2 p.m. on Wednesday, the 29th of April. That's the, the deadline for submission, the 29th, yes, 29th of April. Okay. And and you say it's open to both, uh, you know, uh, degree holders and non-degree uh, holders. Is that correct? Yeah, to, to PhD holders, doctors or doctorate holders and non-PhD holders because we want to encourage research at all levels. Very much so. How important do you uh, describe, you know, research uh, in, in education generally, Dr. Obaid? This is actually an, an important award. And the Research Council actually has specific objectives when we actually launch this award. Some of these objectives are to actually to encourage researchers to continue their activities and initiatives in conducting high-quality research. And also encourage the development of research culture, and enhance the quality of research output in Oman. We also, we want researchers to increase their research output that's actually relevant and important to Oman and increase the level of awareness about the Research Council and various programs and initiatives in supporting research and innovation. 
Excellent. And how how are these uh, awards? You know, there's there's some sort of evaluation committee, I, I, I imagine, with with various members. Can you talk about that? Yes, sir. Actually, for the six fields, we in TRC appoint six. I mean, uh, for the six fields, we appoint an evaluation committee. Depending on the applications we receive, in what specific areas they are. And these evaluators are actually independent of TRC. We just administer the award, okay. but we don't evaluate the submissions or the applications. And the, the criteria oh. for evaluation actually is actually the potential social and economic impact of the research. That's the impact in Oman, as I may add. And how relevant and important is this research to Oman? And does it have any potential applications? I see. And yeah. also one of the main factors is actually the impact factor and the citation index of the research. Basically, how sound and scientifically beneficial this research is. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, these are the criteria for evaluation. I see. And uh, just one more question. Very interesting. Once again, talking to uh, uh, research advisor Dr. Abay, talking about the upcoming uh, research uh, award, uh, national research award here in Oman. Um, of course, we we're looking. You're looking for the uh, betterment of uh, knowledge and research uh, to help local whether it be cultural or economic or or wherever um environmental um are these submitted in uh, in english or in arabic or or both or how does that work um obey that, that that's a very good question actually we accept publications whether they are in arabic or in english there are certain criteria actually that the or conditions that the published research must meet. Ah. First, the applicant must be the first author of the published article. The research, of course, must be of relevance and importance to Oman, as I said before. Sure. And the research must be published, actually, in the last three years in a refereed journal indexed in Scopus or Rope of Science. Of I course, see. that would be in English. Mm-hmm. Or in one of the Arabic art periodicals listed on the awards page okay. on TRC's website. So, basically... We put this condition to us to make sure that the research, the published research, is actually of high quality. Got you. Absolutely. But to answer your question, is it Arabic or English? As Arabic. Long as high or... quality research published in a refereed journal, well reputed refereed journal, we accept the application. And just one last question. I'm sure many people are dying to know, you know, what is the award? What do you actually get? Is it a certificate? Is it... Uh, uh, well, you get a monetary <laughs> award and wow. you get a certificate and we celebrate you in the famous annual research forum that the research, the research council organizes every year. So your name goes into the into the books uh, and to the history of, uh, of Oman and educational research. Absolutely Exactly, fantastic. as one of the National Research Award winners. And I think this is the, if it's not the most prestigious, it's one of the most prestigious awards for research in Oman. Absolutely fantastic. Great to uh, talk to you this morning, uh, Dr. Obaid. It's a pleasure, sir. Always nice to talk to you. And uh, if you, dear listener, would like to learn more, you can uh, go to the website trc.gov.om forward slash research uh, for more information. Dr. Obeid and your team, best of luck and uh, best of luck to 